Hey, this is James from Websites Made Easy, and if you're a beginner blogger, you're in for a treat. I'm gonna show you a really simple and fun way to get started with your blog. It's awesome. So, let's get into it. The aim of this video is very simple. Not only do I wanna show you how easy it is to get started online, but I also wanna answer some of the most common questions I get bombarded with on a daily basis, such as, how do I start a blog? How do I properly set it up? Which platform should I use? What's the best hosting company? How do I make money for my blog? How often should I be blogging? Do I need an email list? What are the benefits of blogging? And how do I properly set up my blog to make money and build a business, plus a whole bunch more? So in this video, I will answer those questions and show you how to get your blog live and set up for success pretty quick. It's gonna be awesome. Now, with blogging, the benefits are huge. You have a fun creative outlet for your work and get to talk to people who share a common interest with you. Blogging allows you to earn an income doing what you love and it gives you the freedom that comes with working for yourself. And most importantly, you get a chance to positively influence the lives of people all around the world, which is just awesome. But how do you make sure your blog stands out from the crowd and succeeds? How do you ensure your blog gets read and shared? The fact is blogging takes work. And if you're willing to put in the work and commit to the process consistently, your blog will thrive. Now, when done properly, blogging can help make an existing business more money. And if you don't yet have a business, Blogging is the perfect segue into one because ultimately, that's what we're aiming for is to make your blog profitable and give you the freedom and flexibility of earning while doing something you love. Now, it's important to understand that things have changed over the years and it's more important than ever to start your blog the correct way and lay a solid foundation for future blogging success. Now, the ultimate key to your blogging success is action. And the most successful bloggers are the ones who consistently publish regular content. Now, with that being said, let's take a quick peek at the blog that we're going to be creating. This is it. It's beautiful. And we'll be creating this using a totally free WordPress theme called Astra. It's fresh, clean, and creates a wonderful user experience for your audience and it's the ideal theme for anyone serious about blogging. Plus it has a ton of options to enhance its functionality, so it's perfect for creating a successful blog that builds an audience and makes money. Now, one of the key benefits of this theme is that it's fully mobile responsive, which means it's gonna look just as great on a tablet or phone as it does on a desktop, and it will allow your audience to connect with you wherever they are. Now, if you've been poking around in the dark, not knowing how to get started with a blog, then this tutorial is really gonna help you get clear on the exact steps you need to create your successful blog. Plus, you'll learn the exact steps and secret sauce that we use at WebsitesMadeEasy.tv to turn visitors into raving fans and paying customers. Now, marketing is huge right now. And this theme is dialed in to ensure your content stands out by placing your content front and center to really capture the attention of your audience. Blogging is one of the best ways to establish your credibility and authority, educate your community, and build a personal connection with your audience all at the same time. And when done right, blogging can help you grow your audience and encourage them to become lifelong customers with you. So done properly, your blog will position you as an authority in your industry because it helps to build the know, like, and trust factor. Your audience will see you as someone who provides solutions to their most pressing problems and will trust you enough to buy your products and services. Now, not having a blog can actually make it very hard for you to build your brand and your presence online. Just remember that a blog is designed to be dynamic and function as a living, breathing extension of you or your business. 
And this is key because people online are usually searching for solutions to their problems and therefore blogging about the topics most relevant to your audience will increase your audience's confidence in you, your products and services. So for example, if you sell skin products, your blog would have tips on looking after your skin and answer specific skin concerns while also recommending the products you sell. Now, unlike a website which consists mostly of static pages, blogs have content which are regularly updated, so the content is always fresh and relevant. Not only does Google love blogs, which are always updated with great content, but it also gives visitors a reason to repeatedly return to you. Plus, your audience can comment on your posts, creating engagement, and this is awesome because it allows for you to build relationships with them. Now, hopefully you can see why blogging is so important in helping you make more money regardless of whether you're just starting out or have an established business. So, how exactly do you start a blog? Now, this tutorial is all about blogging for beginners and will teach you how to be a blogger with just the most basic computer skills. So, whether you're 8 or 88, you can create your own blog. So, we're going to be creating your blog in four simple steps. And step one is picking out your blog's address, also known as your domain name. Step two is getting your blog live online. Step three is properly setting up your blog and choosing the free theme and customizing it. And step four is publishing your first post, the fun part. Now, we're going to be using a platform called WordPress, which is just a simple web building tool, which allows you to have your own blog or website up and running in less time than it takes to make and drink a cup of coffee. Seriously, it's pretty easy these days getting a blog online. WordPress is used by millions of people all around the world. Did you know that some of the biggest companies use WordPress? And some of the most famous people use it to run their own websites? So let's get started with choosing your blog's address, also known as your domain name, just like ours is over at websitesmadeeasy.tv. You're going to have your very own blog domain name too. And your blog hosting, so your blog has somewhere to live and people can find it. Now, both of these are super cheap because I'm going to give you a special coupon code. So let's get started with step one, which is choosing your domain name and getting set up with your blog's hosting. So let's head over to HostGator.com. Now, I use HostGator not only for myself, but also for all my websites made easy members because they're super reliable and they have awesome customer service. They know WordPress and are available 24-7 phone and chat support to deal with any issues or to answer any questions. Plus, I've been using these guys going on 10 years now without any real problems. Okay, so what you want to do now is click on Get Started in the middle of the page. Then select the Hatchling plan if you only want one website. But if you're planning on having multiple websites, then I would recommend going with the Baby plan as this will give you unlimited domains. It's the only difference between the two. Now, this is really the only money you'll spend in this tutorial, and it comes in under just 10 bucks a month. It really is a small investment to get started with your website and have your business live online. Now, you want to register a new domain name. Now, hopefully you've really thought about this and picked a good domain name. If the name you want is not available, keep drilling down and use different URL extensions such as .com, .net, .org, etc. Or even playing around with the actual name. Then go ahead and enter a username and security pin and choose the billing cycle you'd like. Now I'm going to go with the whole year as it's slightly cheaper this way. Next, enter in billing information here and make sure you use an email address you can access as HostGator will email you with your login details afterward. Next, you'll see it's added on extras here. You want to uncheck these as you don't need them. And now you want to enter the coupon code here. So enter WordPress Hero to be sure to validate your savings. And you'll see the cost will go right down, saving you up to 60% off your entire hosting, depending on the hosting package you choose. If you decide to go with a year or more, it will unlock a free domain, which is cool. Now, you should know that we do get a small affiliate commission for anybody that signs up. And we're going to save you money by getting you the lowest price possible. So it really is a win-win. You get the lowest price possible and we get a small commission for you signing up. So it's great for everybody. And it helps support us to continue to make this content for you. Now, when you're happy with everything, click on Check Out Now and you'll be the proud owner of your very own new website address. Okay, awesome. 
Now, you'll receive a couple of emails from HostGator with your login details and some links to different things. This is very important, so you want to find the cPanel link here and click on that. The cPanel is where you can install WordPress to your domain name and also do lots more stuff with your website. So log in using the username and password which you chose. And in case you can't remember, they're both in the email you just received. At first, this might look a bit overwhelming. It did for me when I first saw it. There's lots of different things you can do here, but all you need to do right now is find the software and services area. So scroll down and you'll see it here. Now you need to find the PHP selector and we wanna click that and then change the PHP software to the latest one. Currently the latest one is 7.0 as I'm creating this video. By default, it comes set at 5.4. So we wanna be sure to update this. Now this will ensure your WordPress website is using the latest software. So make sure you update this. Now click back and in the same section software, find quick install and click on that and click on WordPress here. Okay, all you need to do now is fill in a few things such as the email address, the person who will be looking after your website. So if this is you, you can put in your email address, then your name or the name of the person as well. Now give your website a title, then your name and last name and click on install WordPress. Once you've installed WordPress, you'll get a success message that it's complete. Your username and password are here. You're gonna use these to log into your website. You'll also get an email with all of this in it as well. When you're ready, click on this link here, which will take you to the login or back end of your website. So you can edit and start creating it. And you might get an error message saying that the page isn't available yet. And you might have to wait until everything with your new website is set up. Then click the link again. Now this is completely normal. It just takes a little bit for your website to become live online. And also you might have to set up the name servers for your new website. So don't worry about this, it's super easy. All you need to do is head over to HostGator again. And once you're there, click on the customer portal. Now log in using the username and password, which you'll find in the email HostGator sent you. Now you wanna click on domains and click on your domain and find name servers and then click on change. Then click on automatically point to my domain to my hosting account, then save and you are all done. Now you should be able to click on that link again, enter your username and password to log into WordPress and you're in. Okay, awesome, you should now be in your WordPress dashboard and you are now the proud owner of an online website. So congratulations, well done for sticking with it. It's a huge achievement and this is where the real fun is about to begin. And this is the WordPress dashboard and think of it like the heart of your website where you can edit and change different things. Now, there's lots of different things going on in here and we're gonna talk about these very soon. So don't let it scare you or make you feel overwhelmed. It's not daunting at all. It's actually super easy to work with WordPress. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and X out any of these notifications. And if yours does look a little bit different than mine, you have some more notifications, that's okay. Just X them all out for now. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what your website looks like right now. So head up here to the left and see the little home, right click on that and open it up in a new tab. Now, as you can see, it's really plain. There's not a lot going on, but that's gonna change real soon. We're gonna get this bad boy dialed in and properly set up in a way to connect with your audience. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to the WordPress dashboard area and go ahead and leave both these tabs open. This way we can see live edits. Now, right here where it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page, once you're ready to launch your site, click here. Go ahead and click this now. This way we'll have a live page that we can take a peek at when we want. And it's not showing a coming soon page. So now I want you to head down here to settings and then click on permalinks. Now this is real important. This is gonna help with your search engine optimization so people can find you online. So all you have to do is just update this to post name. And this makes it much easier for the search engines like Google to find your website so people searching for your business or your services will be able to find your website. So make sure you go ahead and save everything. So next, in order to easily change the functionality and look of our website, we're gonna install a new theme. 
So the new theme is called Astra, and it's awesome. So to install the theme, let's head over here and then click on Appearance, and now click on Themes. And then click on New, and then search for Astra. Here it is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and install this theme. So just go ahead and click Install, and then click Activate. Okay, awesome, so the theme is now activated, and now we're gonna install a plugin which comes with this theme. So by installing this plugin, we'll be able to easily customize our theme. So to install that plugin, let's go to Plugins, and then click on Add New. Now search for the plugin called Astra Starter Sites. So here it is right here. So we wanna go ahead and click Install, and then click Activate. So the plugin is now installed. Now this plugin has a collection of pre-built starter websites that you can use on your website. So to see those starter sites, let's head over here to Appearance and then click on Starter Templates. Then click on Elementor. Elementor is the free tool that you use to customize your website. Now check this out, you have all these different starter sites you can work with. And of course, we are gonna be building a blog, so we wanna head up here and toggle this and just select blog here. Now some of these say agency, which means they're paid. No big deal, we're gonna start with this awesome free one right here. So we'll go ahead and select this. Now check this out, these are all the pages that make up your blog. You have your homepage, the actual blog page, and the contact page. Real simple stuff. And all these pages are gonna be imported in one click. So when you're ready, just go ahead and click Import Complete Site. And then click Import. Now the design and the demo content will be imported into your site. And once it's done, we can see how the site will look. So let's click View Site. Okay, awesome, so as you can see, the demo has been imported into our website. And now this is how it looks. And you can also see the other pages as well, which also have the demo content. So once you've got the starter site installed, you can now go to the final step which is customizing the content. So to edit any bit of the site, you just have to go to that page and click Edit with Elementor. So let's say that you want to edit the home page. You just simply click Home, and then click Edit with Elementor. Now if I wanted to update the text here, I would just click in here, and I'm gonna bring this up just like that and then go ahead and remove that, and that's how you update the text. And if I wanted to update the actual font, I'm currently in style. We were in content before, and you can update the text here as well. So I head back to style, click on typography, and here's the families. I could change that to veranda. I can change the size right here if I want. Lots of cool stuff you can do. Head down to the button, click into the button, I can update the text here to get started. And then I could pop in my link to my contact page right there. If I wanted to add in a video, I could click in here. And then I could pop in my video link right here to YouTube. Or if I didn't want this, if I didn't have a video, I could right click on this pencil and then delete. We're good to go. Now if I wanted to change this background image, I'd click the six dots, and then head to style, 
then select choose image and we can upload from our computer here or we can go to media library and this is where the demo content is so I can just pick an image right here let's pick this one insert media and there you go and has that nice parallax effect and you can change that by heading right here where it says attachment and see where it says scroll or we'll go back to fixed which is the parallaxed and this is how you edit every section of each page of your website so as you can see this is one section right here here's another section right here it's the same stuff you just click in here to edit you want to change the image click in the image edit the text here's the button same thing for here images if you didn't want one of these areas you could just delete now you have three if you didn't want this at all you could x this out or if you wanted to move things around you could simply click this and then just drag it to where you want it to be pretty awesome right and you can't break anything okay you can go back in time if you want click history and here are all our edits each step so if we wanted to go back to the very starting there you go pretty cool right now see how this image has this kind of dark overlay over it let me show you how to adjust that so click back on the six dots and then head right down here to background overlay and then right here you have the different colors you can change you see if you want to remove the overlay you just select that or you can adjust it right here make it lighter or darker so go back to 0.5 and there we go so now of course the most important thing about the home page your blog is connecting with your audience so it needs to be crystal clear the experience or the transformation the big benefit that you're giving your audience so right here Kara she's a fashion blogger so she obviously helps people with their style so you want it to be very clear when someone lands on your blog what is the experience the transformation you're giving people you want to connect engage and convert you want to do those three things within five seconds of someone landing on your blog so they know this is for them so to save any changes all you would do is head down here and click on update and that's going to save everything that we just did and we can preview our changes by clicking this little eye icon so go ahead and click that and everything is back to normal how we initially started because I did not save any of the changes so what we'll do now is I'm going to show you how to edit this header and then your footer area so go ahead and what you want to do is click on customize then if you want to change this logo right here and add your own you would just click this pencil right here and you can add your own logo right here now if you don't have your own logo you can go to this nifty little site right here called logomaker.com it's real simple watch the little video and you can create your own logo within minutes now if you don't want to do that all you would have to do is just head down here and then click this display site title and of course add in a good title here and you can change the typography and the size right here pretty cool right and then you would just remove the logo now to update the social channels over here all we would do the same thing click on the pencil and then right here you have your social channels so you can't see them right here but if we click on one here they are right here so you would add in your title the link to the channel here's the icon so we can update the icons by clicking in there and you can search for it so we could type in Instagram and here's this so yeah you can just pop them in do the same thing here real easy stuff pop in your link and you are set to jet so that is how you update your header area so I'm not gonna save anything so I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this now if you do make any changes you're gonna want to publish now to edit your footer which is right down here just so you can see what we're doing 
this area right here, we're gonna to go to the same exact place. So we'll go back to customize right where we just were. And then head to footer. And then right here, select footer bar. And then you can just update your information. Real simple stuff. Which you probably won't have to do, but now you know how to do it. Or you can come down here just like we did before and then click in the pencils. And that's it. And of course, if you make any changes, you're gonna to wanna to publish. I'm gonna go ahead and X out. Okay, perfect, so we're making some great progress and now we're gonna set up your blog. So I'm gonna show you how to add a blog post, structure your blog properly with categories, and really get this dialed in so it's a great experience for your audience. So right here, if we take a look at this, we have wardrobe, closet cleanse, and shopping tour. Now I would imagine these are three areas of transformation that Kara helps people with. So what we can do is apply this to our blog. So what I would recommend, going down here, and these are blog posts, and I'm actually gonna get rid of this area right here. You can keep it, but I wanna show you how we can create transformation using our blog. So I would apply those three areas of transformation to these pillar categories. So right here would be the first one, the second one, and the third one. So they were wardrobe styling, closet cleanse, and shopping tour. This way, anytime someone clicks on one of these categories, it's gonna take them to a blog role with a series of posts related to those specific categories. So for example, at Websites Made Easy, ours are website, traffic, and customers. Those are the areas of transformation or the experience we help people with to overcome those areas so they can grow their business. So I'm gonna show you now how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Edit with Elementor right here. Okay, so I'm gonna head down here. And I'm gonna make this real easy for you to understand. Okay, so what I wanna do first is I'm gonna head to this area right here, and then I want three of these for the categories, okay? So you can have two if you want, but I want three for our areas of transformation. So I'll click on this and delete, and click on this, and we wanna duplicate. Pretty cool, right? So now what I'm gonna do is copy this styling right here. So I'll right click on this pencil and then copy, and then I'm just gonna drop this in here. So click right in here and then paste. Boom, that easy. Delete this, so right click on the pencil and then delete. Now I wanna edit this some and I want to clean this up. So if, you, if your words, like right here, see how it's dropping down? This one probably won't do this. It's just gonna look wonky. It's gonna be, the spacing is gonna be off. So I'm gonna just clean this up some. I'm gonna just put wardrobe, okay? And you'll see what I mean in a minute. And I wanna go to style. So we're clicked in this area right here. I'm gonna go to style and then edit the spacing a little bit. 12 and then 13. And you can play with it, of course. That looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete this little area right here. So I will delete. Perfect. And we're gonna link this button. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. So this area is looking good. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna head up here. Copy it. Paste it right in here. Delete this. Go to style. Looking good. And then delete this. See how it's all lined up? Now if you don't want the numbers, you could just click back into here, go to content, and then delete the number right there. And then this will pull all the way over. So I'm gonna do this last one and we are good to go. Okay, so as you can see, I've updated this last one right here. Now if you wanted to update these buttons, I'm gonna show you how to link these now. You click in the button, and we could move, if we click right here, we could change the alignment. So whatever you prefer there. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to link them. So what we'll do, I'm gonna go ahead and update, save our changes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and preview. Yeah, looking awesome. 
Okay, so now what I want you to do is if you click on the blog right here, this is the way it comes set up by default with the demo content, which looks nice. So anytime you add a blog post, it will scroll right here. And this area right here is static. So this would be the same thing. You would basically model what I just showed you how to do by editing these areas and you could basically duplicate the process that we just went through. Okay, so these are gonna stay the same. Or I'm gonna show you another way to do it I think is a little bit more optimized and cleaner, which is called a blog roll. It's almost like a Facebook feed or Instagram feed. When you scroll, you see all your blog posts scrolling down. So let me show you how to do that now. So we're gonna head over here and then click on dashboard. And then head here and then go to settings and then click on reading. And right in here is our home page, which is a static page. And this is our post page, which is our blog. So this is where all our blog posts will live. And real simply, so you understand, pages are used for static pages like your contact us page or home page. Posts are for your blog. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. And now you're gonna see the difference. So we'll head back. Okay, so let's head back to the blog. And this is your blog role, which I feel like looks a lot cleaner. And this is what we're gonna use for this example. So now I'm gonna show you how to categorize your blog posts and actually create a blog post as well. So you can use whatever you want. You can use the blog role or the other way that it comes pre-installed with. So either way, it's gonna work just the same in terms of the way we're gonna structure this now. So I want you to head back to the dashboard. So go ahead and click on that. Now I'll simply head over here to post and then click on all posts. And I'm gonna make this super easy for you to understand. Now here are all the default posts that came with the starter site. And I'm gonna show you how to work with one of these in a minute so you can model it and create your own posts. So for now, let me show you how to start a new post. So go ahead and click on add new. And we can title our post right here. So I'm gonna title it shopping tips and then press enter. And just like a Word document, I can paste something in like I just did there, or start typing. It's very simple. Now, if we wanted to add a category to this post, click on document over here, go to categories, and then click add new, and then I'm gonna make this one shopping. Remember, that's one of our categories. So I'll select add new category right here, and now that is categorized. So that's how you create a simple blog post. And if you wanted to, I could press enter right here. And then I could click this and add an image. Click media library. And just pop in an image. So I could randomly put in this one. And there you go. Now if we wanted to add in a featured image, which is the main image of the blog post, we would head over here to featured image. Select that, and then just pick one of these. So we could pick, let's see what this one looks like. Those are too small. One about a thousand. Let's pick this one right here. Yeah. Set featured image. And there it is right there. And then we can publish the post. And then we can head up here to view post. There you go. And that is how you create a simple blog post. So let's head back to all of our posts. So we'll just go back this way. And then head back here. So now I'm gonna show you an existing post that is using the WordPress Gutenberg editor. So go ahead and click on edit post. So you can see the structure and the layout here so you can model these posts and show you how to set up the categories. So. You can see, you can do some pretty cool things with posts, and what I would recommend is just searching for how to create a blog post with the WordPress Gutenberg editor, and you can really learn some cool ways to create some amazing looking blog posts. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and unselect this, select shopping, update, then I'm gonna head back, and I'm gonna do it for this one as well. So I'm gonna select edit, head over here to the categories, 
Select Shopping, then Update. Now check this out. We can view post right here. And here is our category. So if we go ahead and the post as well, which looks really nice. So if we select Shopping right here, it's gonna have all our blog posts related to shopping. Now what's so great about this and effective is that if someone lands on your blog or if they're searching for shopping related content online and they land on one of your posts, they're gonna see all your other related posts in terms of shopping that are categorized appropriately. So what we can do now is we can copy this URL, then head back to the home page of our blog. You're gonna love this. Now, all we're gonna do is update this, okay? So we'll select Edit with Elementor. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for all your categories. So we have wardrobe, the closet cleanse, and shopping. So we'll head down here, and then we're just gonna pop in this link. So we'll click here, and then just paste in our link. Right to our shopping category. Then we'll update. Then we can preview. So we'll head down, click on shopping, read more, and boom, here are all our shopping posts. See how awesome that is? Now you have some structure and direction with your blog, which makes it so much more user friendly and optimized for people searching for content specific to their needs. So let's head back. Okay, so we're back on the home page here. Now go ahead and click on Edit with Elementor. And if you scroll down, one thing I wanted to show you too right here, this little background area right here, this color, if you click on the six dots right here and go to Style, you can update the color right here to anything you want. And we are good to go. The blog is looking awesome. Yeah, that's it. So one more thing, I wanna show you if you wanted to edit your menu up here, you're gonna to want to click this and, and exit to dashboard. So click those three lines, make sure you save any changes, then click back. Then right here under appearance, click on menus. So here's your menu right here. And if you wanted to add a new page, you could just come over here. You would have all your pages right here. Click one and then add to menu. If you wanted to remove one, you would just click remove and it would be that easy. And you would just save your menu. I'm not gonna do that. And real quickly, if you wanted to add a page, you don't need to do this, but if you'd like to, because I think your blog is good to go, you would just go to all pages and then you would select add new right here. And then you can title your page. So we could just type in product and then we would select Edit with Elementor. And then right here, here's the Astra starter sites. And this is Elementor's version. Little templates they have. So they have full pages that you can literally import in one click. And it's the same exact process. So you could search for product and import any of these. This one's kind of cool. And boom, you click Insert and you are good to go with this whole page. Same deal. We believe design. So that's it. Now you know how to create a custom page. And I think you're good to go now for now. You have a beautiful, simple blog and we are done. So let's head back, exit to dashboard. So that's it, congratulations. This is how you can create your own blog, add the demo content and then customize it however you'd like. So if you're ready to create your own blog, just head over to HostGator.com. It will take you to the page which you saw in the first step, which is choosing your blog's domain and hosting. So just go ahead and pick your own blog domain and start your blog. And also be sure to grab your savings with the coupon code mentioned and your free domain. Thank you very much. My name is James Stafford.